Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 6, 2020. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Courses and meditations are available at gumroad.com. And of course, if you would like to support me on Patreon, I leave all of that information in the description box on every video. If you would like to support me by subscribing, please make sure that you hit that notification bell. Uh, liking the video helps a lot too, and I really appreciate it. So I want to address really quickly, I put up a post saying, hey, let's give a shout out to whoever, you know, whatever YouTuber you've been watching during. And let's give a shout out to some of the YouTubers, like smaller YouTubers and stuff like that. So um, put that up. At first, the comments were fine. And then less than 24 hours later, <laughs> I came back in and people were mentioning YouTubers that I can't get behind. They do some shady things behind the scenes and I just had to take the whole post down. So if your comment is gone, that's why. Sometimes that happens, it's all good. We're just gonna keep it moving, right? All right. <laughs> so let's get into the message for this week. This message has to do with polarization. Yes, using broad strokes to form an opinion or to judge or uh, all of these things and also yeah, there's a message here around manifestation. We'll see, we'll get into that, I guess, and see what's coming up around that. But this feeling of um, mm, getting, getting pulled off course with what manifestation is, all right? Now, a good gauge for anybody who might be posing as spiritual, but probably is more about the business of spirituality, would be anybody who brags, all right? <laughs> like, I am better than everybody. I have a great energy. I'm this, I'm that. Always be aware of that because again, those are the people that are treating this like a game. So if anybody's truly in their wisdom and truly in their light, you know, I, I would imagine they wouldn't be out there bragging um, and trying to put themselves above other people. So that feels like a message to remember for this week. I don't know why. So maybe some of you out there are getting down on yourselves because yeah, yeah. It, this, it's a business. Let's go back to that. So getting down on yourselves because you think that you're not doing well enough in life. And then you have somebody who says, ha ha ha, look at my mansion. I learned all these tricks to manifest this. Come my way and I'll teach you, right? But they're getting something out of you feeling low and down. The fact of the matter is, is that we all have a soul's contract. We all have things that we are going through to learn about, yes, as individuals and collectively. How often have you seen somebody who, who knows what they've got going on mentally, but um, they try to punish you or try to do a smear campaign on you, especially if it is a narcissist and you maybe called them out. I understand you're not supposed to do that, but you know, <laughs> check with an expert on that. Um, and to go on their smear campaign, they start pointing out well, you don't have a mansion, you don't have, I don't know, you don't have a fancy job, you don't have a partner, you don't have a, you, you know, you're this, that, and the other, whatever. People will throw all these surface level things at people just to drag you down. Now, in some cases, there are people who are doing this who then say, well, I have the solution, I can bring you back up. And others think that, well, that's gonna tear you down and it's gonna stop you in motion. But when we remember that they don't actually have that kind of power over us and that you living your existence as you are is divinely perfect, that little thing that they're trying to do to basically siphon off of your energy, there, there's no energy produced by you for them to have, okay? So there's a big message here. We were talking about I accept and love myself as I am, <laughs> right? So if you have had, you know, you know, a lot of people have had trials and tribulations, there's a reason for that, all right? If you are up and down in your emotions, again, getting help, you know, from a mental health care practitioner, if you feel like, because that's happening a lot for people right now, um, especially right now, there's just so much going on in the world and traumas coming up to the surface. Obviously this video, me, my readings, they are no substitution for actual mental health care, okay? Guys, come on, all right? <laughs> this is just to help you feel um, good in your heart, to remember love, to bring good energy to you so that you can make good decisions about what you need health-wise, yes? All right, so there's that. Um, you know, Even if you are, like I said, up and down in mood, this is what you came here for as a soul, 
to experience being human. So this idea that you're a good person or a bad person based on the material things that you have, we know that that's dumb, right? <laughs> Raise your hand if you know that's dumb. Uh, but yet people will still use that as a tool. And this seems like a very imperative message for us to start breaking open and understanding so that that stuff doesn't, um, you know, we don't start making choices based on that. So let's break that down a little bit more before we get to the polarization message, okay? So if we think that to make it in life, you have to have all these material things in place, you have to have a certain standard of beauty, you know, blah, 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 blah. How many times have you seen people? I was just out somewhere and there was a couple strutting around because <laughs> they were very, very fit. And they were um, kind of looking at people who were eating ice cream like, oh, pff, oh mm. and I'm like, <laughs> Why don't you just keep it moving? Come on, there's there's more standards of beauty than just that. And if you don't like that someone's eating dairy, then don't look at it, okay? Everybody's got their thing, right? So when we try to live by other people's standards, these fake standards that get put into place, again, just so you feel bad about yourself, just so that you think that you're messing up your life or you're not doing enough. And, you know, we really, oh man, we're so, in that way, I think fragile, I don't know if fragile is the right, what, what's the right word? You know, we're kind of delicate with that stuff because I think every human being wants to feel loved, understood. They want to have their community. They want to feel a part of something. And that feeling of rejection, even like life rejecting you, that's not the truth, okay? It's not life rejecting you. It's this weird poisonous story that has seeped through. We breathe it in. It sort of eats our brains, doesn't it? You know, talk zombie apocalypse. I mean, come on. <laughs> it kind of, it gets to us. And the next thing we know, we're not living in joy because we wake up every day thinking that there's something wrong with us. Okay. So, and then, you know, as I was saying before, making decisions based on what we think we should be. So this is where we see somebody, let's say they go to college. Okay. And they end up not getting bullied, but they think they have to choose this, that, or the other as a major, and then they have to do that as a career, and they hate it, all right? They hate it. I was just thinking a couple of days ago, I went to this place that's kind of you know popular with tourists around here, but nobody's really um, traveling, so I was curious to see if it was still going to be very, very crowded. It wasn't terrible, but it was crowded. What I observed was that there were these, like people you could tell they just, they've made choices in their life maybe, I'm, I'm totally speculating based on some behaviors, so take it for what it's worth. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I don't know these people, but it seemed to me like it's a holiday week here in the United States, and these are people who work hard, play hard types, right? And so it made me wonder if these people didn't give into a conditioned um, script, you know, get conditioned by a script of how life is supposed to be. They go and choose the very, very hard corporate job where they're expected to work long hours, and then they, you know, when they have some time off around a holiday, they bring that into the community. This sort of like get out of my way attitude, this entitlement, um, and not even realizing because in, especially like a career, like a corporate job, you're supposed to not be emotional. You're supposed to be disconnected from that, but they don't, they don't have a switch <laughs> where when they get around other human beings, they know how to behave. And so there was a lot of like entitlement and like, you know, just shoving and pushing and there weren't that many people there right? Because we're supposed to be social distancing still. And speaking of that, I, you know, one of the moments of entitlement was somebody getting right up on me and letting their children flood right in front of me. And I'm like, this is not safe, nor is it nice. Okay. <laughs> right? So again, going back to this message of what do we allow ourselves, you know, to fall into? And is that really joyful? Is that really, are you really relaxing? You know, if, if you only get around the holidays to relax and all other times, it's just you working like crazy and not seeing your family so you have to really shove to make the most of the moments that you can is it worth it so these are the things that are deconstructing now for anybody who allows it and if we allow it it's going to be a beautiful change okay so the other thing too is we have to stop doing this placating thing calling people petty when they want to speak up when someone actually notices the smaller things, like the example I gave you, a lot of people could say, oh my gosh, you're so ridiculous, that's so petty. No, I think you're ridiculous for overlooking that. And what's your game? Why do you want everyone to overlook stuff that they should be looking at, right? So there's this silencing, get ready for this. There will be this silencing 
We're seeing this with social media platforms where if somebody speaks up and they have an observation that might wake people up a little bit, suddenly their post disappears or suddenly they're getting a strike or suddenly, you know, stuff is happening. And yet, remember what I said at the top of the video, there are some YouTubers out there in the spiritual community who are doing sketchy things behind the scenes and they never get caught. Okay, listen, I'm not, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to keep showing up. We're going to be connected here. I've got my Angel Souls family here. We'll just keep it moving. And I'll just make this announcement now for whatever reason my channel gets taken down. I'll see you at Gumroad. All right, go over to gumroad.com. And I believe I put it in slash Angel Souls. I'm on autopilot with that. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked at it in a while. But again, it's in the description box. I'll meet you over there. I'll keep posting content. I'll figure it out. But, um, but you know, like we have to start deconstructing this pressure to be something that's not authentic to us and to be something or to behave in a way that we think makes us win when really it keeps you out of your joy. It keeps you out of your joy. Therefore, everything that you start to manifest comes with karma. Remember that? Remember how I talk about that all the time? So what does that mean? That means if you push and you shove and you're like, I want that specific per person, I want that job, I want this money, I want, 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 want. And there are so many channels out there. God bless them. Hi, guys. Okay, whatever. Um, who <laughs> They're going to hate that I said this. But there are a lot of them out there that are preaching this, well, if you were in good energy, you would produce. And if you're not in good energy, then you're going to fall apart. And look at you, you failed. You basically failed in your spiritual practice because you didn't manifest all this stuff. That's a... I'm going to watch my language here. That's nonsense, okay? If you are saying and you're truly manifesting, I want the home that is perfect for me. Well, maybe the home that you're in is perfect for you right now because you're learning something. Or maybe you're not really ready to be in a different neighborhood, right? Maybe you think that would be good. How many times have you manifested something that you thought you wanted and then when you got it, it didn't, it didn't invoke any joy for you? It didn't do anything for you because we don't listen to our hearts enough. So reduce the whole, uh, maybe whatever pressure, however you want to see that to live a certain way, according to certain standards that are nonsense. Okay. <laughs> don't listen to anybody who's trying to, uh, put material things over you to say, I'm better than you because I have this also nonsense. Um, and nobody deserves to take up space more than you do. So don't let people push you around. Now, when I say start noticing things and stop dismissing them, don't placate people, I also don't mean go out and police everybody because we don't need that either, right? We don't need any of that kind of nonsense. <laughs> we don't need people who I decide that you're not doing the right thing, so I'm going to humiliate you here in front of everybody. Uh, that's not what we're talking about. Just observe it. See if you guys see the other person's side of things. And then if you come to the conclusion of, no, I, I think that person just doesn't care about other people, just, you don't have to do much with it right now. Just notice it. Just notice it and do what you can to come back into your heart. This polarizing thing that's going on, we are in messy, messy times. There are things popping off all of that. Like I can't even, you ought to see my apartment. My apartment right now reflects where I'm at because I'm like, I got too much. <laughs> like There's just too much going on. There's too many things that are kind of pulling attention and, and all of this. And so, you know, I think so that we all feel like we're a part of a team. We say, okay, I stand by all of these standards or I stand by all of these standards. And we lose critical thinking in the process. And I would even say, do critical thinking with your spirituality. Don't do the things that I did. When I first got on YouTube, um, God, when was that? 2013, <laughs> right? Way back. Um, I allowed myself to get coerced into using certain language. I mean, I was still doing my work and still being in my integrity and doing that work, but I wasn't going to be an effective messenger if I didn't use the language that people were used to hearing. Even though, and I've now since come out and said, hey, I don't like that twin flame concept too much. There are things that don't work for me <laughs> that I don't feel like that's necessarily hitting the mark. And I take a lot of heat for that. But please don't allow people to tell you. You're, you're, I want to give another example. Forgive all the examples here. But like, you know, I very consistently 
get people who will get a hold of my email and then email me and say basically everything that they believe, okay? And here's what you need to know and blah, 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 blah. Well, my critical thinking skills kick in and I go, you know what? You don't know more than me. I don't know why this is a thing. Why are you trying to make this a competition? Okay, <laughs> like it's not about that. Um, thank you for whatever good intention was meant here, but I'm not falling into this, right? So please be doing that. Please be protecting yourself in that way. Again, we don't wanna do this polarization. We don't wanna overcorrect, and then we don't trust anybody and we don't trust anything. And if you get some information, do some critical thinking, okay? Listen to your heart, and then make your choices from there, all right? I think that's what we're being asked to start training ourselves to do. And again, going back to the whole, I, I'm trying to land on a good example here. Um, but when we take these, you know, just broad sweeping generalizations, and we all do it, <laughs> right? We all do it. Let's try to catch ourselves doing that and be aware. Um, I, I don't want to cause controversy here, uh, but there was a, 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 I guess it was an argument, arguably an argument uh, on Facebook. And I have my beliefs and they tend to lean a certain way, but again, I always engage critical thinking. So there was a story that was up and I was like, I'm confused about this. The group that I'm normally associated with came out attacking me because I had done critical thinking and I didn't just go with what has already been predetermined that I'm supposed to believe in. Meanwhile, on the other side, <laughs> they're kind of like, I don't, I don't know about you. I don't, I mean, kind of, kind of in the middle here. Like, what, what do we do with you? Um, so it, it's one of those things that as we go through all of these crashing changes, the more someone tries to pull you to extremes, oh man, the worse it's going to get. The worse it's going to get. And we're going to be in real trouble. And we're going to see the earth reacting. We're going to see the earth shaking and burning and, you know, getting then floods on top of that and violent storms. You know, we are contributing to that. And it also steals our joy. Do you ever go out? And you see someone and you say, good morning. And they just look at you like, I'm telling you, it's already like no one's home. No one's home. It spooks me out. Okay. It spooks me out. <laughs> I went for a hike. When was that? Yesterday morning. P.S. There were bear signs all over the place. Awesome. Because <laughs> that's what we need on top of everything. Right? <laughs> but I went out. There was only one person that actually said good morning back to me when I said good morning. Everyone else just looked at me like, why are you talking to me? That's weird. No one's home. No one's home. Did we become the robots overnight? Did what makes us human get vacated and filled with something else? I don't know. I'm not trying to give like some weird, <laughs> like conspiracy or anything like that. But you know, I, what I'm getting at here is that we don't have to choose sides necessarily. I mean, unless it's like a major deal, then, you know, always stand up for human beings. Always stand up for human beings being treated with love and respect. Let's do that, all right? It's our jobs as, as light workers. Like, we're supposed to be doing that. But I'm talking about, you know, again, I don't want <laughs> to give details to explain what I mean. But, like, you know, sometimes when someone's, like, being self-righteous, okay, and then they get rewarded for being self-righteous, ew, like what? <laughs> no, all right, no, 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 no. So try to balance out what's going on here. And a lot of us need to get grounded. I, I wanna start remembering, hopefully I can remember to start putting this into the videos a little bit more because I'm telling you, I can monitor the comments and see when people are getting really out there. Like really, like you're losing touch here, okay? And again, I'm not qualified to help you with that, but Spirituality is a wonderful thing. Just make sure that you are remembering that you are human. Okay, let's not get disconnected and start flying away too much, right? <laughs> like we've got a job to do here. So I guess what we're getting at here is don't allow yourself to get pulled one way or another. If something doesn't feel right, sit with it and look at it, okay? Um, this, is, this is also not a time for us to go attacking uh, one another. And I, again, I got to get off the good Facebook. Okay. I got to get off there because that stuff gets me riled when I see somebody not treating human beings with respect. 
it's a trigger for me. I'm not going to lie. Aha. How many spiritual practitioners out there would ever admit that they're not perfect? Let that be a red flag to you. Start calling it out <laughs> lovingly as much as you can, all right? Or just observing and doing what you need to do, making your choices from there, okay? So you don't need to go attack people. We, we kind of want to stay... I think what this week is going to be doing is going like this and this and this, and then things are collapsing in front of us and we're getting tough now. Now we're getting tough because we're kind of used to it. <laughs> it's like, you know, everything around the corner, like, oh, okay, whatever. Just add that on to the 2020 pile. It's fine. Um, all right? But we're, we're learning to be agile. And if you go too far one way or another, you're losing your balance basically okay so let's get on to the cards where are my cards uh, why do I do this <laughs> I, I knew I was filming <laughs> I put them far away I didn't mean to all right so let's see what we have here I want to give this a good shuffle here and yes there's wind again if ever you hear background noise it's going to be a vroom vroom truck or wind, okay? <laughs> All right, what do we have for this week? <gasps> See, right here. I'm acting like it's the end of the world, like, oh no, stem night. <laughs> no, the stem night conflict. If you look at this, um, these crystal points are kind of going in every direction. And I feel like this has to do with like mentally and emotionally getting pulled in too many directions. And... I don't know, we're, we're seeing a lot of human shortcomings. And one of those shortcomings is, okay, I don't like being scolded. Okay, I don't like you saying these things. You say what I want you to say. You know what, I don't like that you have that opinion. You know what, I don't, whoa, right? <laughs> like, or, you know, I can't listen to this, it upsets me. When it's something really important or it's a humanitarian kind of issue that it's all hands on deck and everyone's like, no, nah, I don't want to, you know. Uh, so I expect some conflict. Okay. So this could probably be some conflict. This could probably be some internal conflict. This is, um, maybe not sure where you want to take your life. This might even be a crisis of faith. Okay. Where you're shifting what you believe in. If you maybe have gone deeply into the new age community or the, uh, the spiritual community, which... I don't know. I, I feel like there's not, you guys, again, I'm not trying to start any arguments. I want some honest, honest opinions here. So don't be nasty. Nasty comments get removed. Or sometimes YouTube just blocks it before it even gets to me. Okay. But do you feel there is proper diversity in the spiritual community and in the new age community? And do you feel that the traditions that we tend to pull on, that they get proper notation? Do those cultures get proper notation? Where's the ownership? Okay, I wanna see if we can have, again, if it starts to get stupid, I'm not doing stupid, because I'm feeling this next week too, okay? Because I'm recording this on Friday, <laughs> the Friday before it goes up for Monday, Friday before July 6th. So I'm not here so that we can argue or have conflict. But I want us to start thinking, again, like which way do we get pulled in? What have we got sucked into and gotten used to that we don't even notice certain things anymore? All right, I want us to look at that as a community. Let's look at that. And honestly, I'm real close to just removing myself from both communities and saying, don't associate me with that. I'll just not have a community, I guess. I don't know. But if I keep observing the things that I do, I'm out. I'm out. I'll still do this work, but I don't want to be associated with that. All right. <laughs> There's more to it, but I, again, I don't want to get into it here, but let's start, you know, really looking at that. Now, if you start to have some family conflict, again, try to just, I don't know, there could be some fighting. There could be some tempers going. It's not the time to try to have a debate. It's not the time to try to be, um, I got good news coming <laughs> to try to try to be right or you know what I'm saying the next card we have here is orpiment success now what this means is that if you keep taking a shallow approach to your life things are not gonna go well 
you're going to think that they're going well. You're going to say, oh, I got that, you know, surface level thing that I was trying to manifest. Look at me. I'm so successful. But really on a soul level, remember, things that are manifested by trying to throw your free will around, right? Just coming from the ego, that will come with karma. How many times have you seen people, they manifest a lot of money and then they lose it just as quickly? Okay, so <laughs> this is a success in our growth and in our understanding. And yes, it's going to feel very tiresome. It's going to feel, um, I don't know, like you kind of want to hide away, <laughs> right? Like, oh, I just can't even talk to people anymore or what have you. But this, I want to mention this too. This is success because maybe through some bit of conflict or even internal conflict, something comes to your attention about you and something that maybe you want to work on. And now you can start working towards success by, by taking on something that is holding you back. Okay. Yeah. Emerald compassion. It feels like there's a lot of crying going on this week. And it's sort of like, again, there could be arguments, there could be tempers flying. Um, but then it's like, I didn't know that you felt that way. This is like cracking open. And while you're already cracked open, having those uncomfortable conversations and it's healing, it's incredibly healing and it's opening our hearts and it's helping us realize, wow, wow, I really was wrong about that. We were so deep in that self-protective mode before that it was everyone for themselves. I'm going to look out for me. And that meant that they had no compassion left over for anybody else and for what someone else's struggle might be. There's going to be a lot of healing to be done by telling your story. And when I say telling your story, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people get so egotistical about this. Of course, people need to read my story. Everybody stop. My story is more important than anybody else's. No. Okay. No. It's opening up and maybe just maybe you're journaling and you're just writing to yourself if you want to share share it with not from like a victim mentality but of i want you to understand i want us to foster an understanding and a connection between the two of us and if we're going to do that here's who i am and then be willing to listen to who the, who the other person is as well we have a lot of things hmm mental and emotional things out there that would have labels that um, people don't realize about themselves. Maybe this is the week that it finally makes sense. Okay. Tanzanite clarity. We're going to figure out how to move on. We're going to start really pinpointing where things need to change. We are going to start, it's very protective too, very protective. So it might be an uncomfortable week, but a good week, hopefully, <laughs> a good week where you know, if something happens that's less than ideal, we go, but okay, I'm glad we had that conversation. Or, okay, I'm glad I stood my ground. You know, you may have been wanting to speak your truth about something for a very long time, but never felt like you could. And now you are. And maybe it ends a friendship, but you walk away realizing I'm better for it. You know, I'm no longer going to take this kind of treatment. Okay, it's that sort of thing. Lots of stuff to talk about, but let's just keep it moving here. We're really lacking in consideration for one another. It's like everyone has been afraid to even be connected to one another uh, or people are just really thinking of themselves. That needs to be healed. Okay, part of that compassion card is opening up your compassion for others and for their, for their experiences. Okay, all right, red, free yourself from pain. The number is two. It's the root chakra, your sense of safety. We're going to start realizing that we don't have as many enemies as we thought we did. Or, you know, we don't have to keep creating our own pain by being polarized. And two is all about balancing. It's very Archangel Sandalfin kind of energy. Okay. So our sense of safety, this is why people fight each other. This is, again, is why people get into their polarized opinions because they want to feel like someone's going to back them up. The middle is not very well occupied, right? And the middle is where you're going to get it from both sides. And so nobody wants to be there. And yet, that's where the balance is. That's where you're going to be coming into your true heart light. This is where you're going to be actually be able to get that clarity and be able to move on. 
to be peaceful, to feel safe. This is where you're going to be able to start, again, manifesting some of those things that you want into your world, but manifesting them from a sense of love and peace and harmony and not, I need to be better than someone else. I need to get one over on someone else. I have to harm someone else so that I can win because that puts me ahead. Uh -uh. This world is not going to be supporting that anymore. This is also a card of grounding, getting grounded. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.